Hello, investors. Welcome to the channel where we look for possible swing trades using technical analysis. Before we begin, all I ask is that you hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And so with that today, we're taking a look at T. Rowe Price Group, ticker symbol T-R-O-W. This is a mid-cap company with a market cap at about $22 billion. It's in the financial industry, and it's a well-known asset manager dating back to the 1950s in the United States. And here we are on T. Rowe's annual chart. And you'll see something a little different than most times you might tune in to see a possible buy here. And you'll see that the share price is right in the middle of most of the moving averages. I like to spend a few moments looking at that after we scroll down and I go through the other metrics here. And you see the RSI is kind of in the middle of things. It does appear to be rising. The stochastics are actually overbought and are trading sideways. The volume chart looks to be about average, although there is certainly more green than red over the last few weeks. And the MACD is above zero and you could say it's falling, although it is appearing to level out here. It does not look like there's going to be a bearish cross anytime soon, but we'll have to wait and see, of course. Now, going back to the chart here, the reason I'm interested in t row at the moment is because just yesterday we closed above the 50-day moving average. And that is a spy signal for many people who use technical analysis. You'll see that this it's actually the second green candlestick in a row. And you can also see here's the 20 day and the 50 day moving average, and they are clearly converging. So if you get a 20, 50 day bullish cross there and the share price closes above the 50 day, that's a buy signal for many people. So this setup could continue. I, I'd be curious to see what we get today. If we get another green candlestick and the shares keep moving up, then yes, that would, for me, confirm a buy signal for t Row. And I do like t Row. I own shares of it for full disclosure. And I think that this is a good company to hold long term. This might present an opportunity for buying in. And if we take a look at the fundamentals here, you'll see moderate short interest at just below 7%. Institutional ownership is solid at a little over 74%. Of course, there's very little debt, almost non-existent here, and it has less debt than 96% of others in the industry. And the PE ratio is average at just over 14. Unfortunately, we're not given a gross margin of profitability, so we can't compare that but the operating margin is excellent and that beats out 72% of other people in the industry, of other companies in the industry, I should say. The operating margin is 29%. We look down at the net profit margin of 26%. That is similarly excellent. And the return on equity here of 17% is quite good. And that beats out 74% of others in the industry. And they have a very close number there with the return on invested capital at about 16 and a half percent. Now the growth rate is average. And one of the things people like most about T. Rowe Price is the dividend. Dividend is almost 5% right now. It is 4.97%. Uh, it is well above the market average. And the payout ratio of just over 70% is higher than I would like to see it. But as revenue grows, we know that payout ratio will go down. We just hope the managers over at T. Row manage those funds well and improve their revenues. In any case, please let me know what you think of T. Row price in the comments below. Is this a good time to buy or sell? Let me know your thoughts. And if you enjoy having ideas like this sent directly to you, please hit the bell notification to be alerted when new videos post. Remember, I'm not offering financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Please do your own due diligence when making any sort of trade. I make these videos for entertainment, discussion, and education. But if you'd like me to analyze a specific company using these metrics, just let me know in the comments and I'll get to it as soon as I can. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and good luck with all your investments.